Hey guys, so today is the last installment for Lady Gaga Applause Week. Uh, this is my absolute favorite look. This was the look that Gaga was wearing on sort of like the runway with that leg with flowers in it. And it's sort of a really beautiful take on the Galliano Dior kind of type of look. So I kind of took my own little spin on it. I absolutely love doing this makeup. I it's totally transforming yourself into this sort of Dior Galliano goodness. So if you want to know how to get this very extreme Gaga look, then please keep on watching. I swear it, if you laugh at me right now, I will find you and I will punch you. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is the bleaching, fake bleaching the brows, just like I did in my previous Gaga tutorial. And for this, I will be using my Kryolan Aqua Color in Ivory and just fake bleach the hell out of your eyebrows. So I'm going to start off by first brushing all the hairs down with the product and then brush up. Just like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a whole new shape to my eyes. So I'm just going to go into that nose line and wisp it all out and just give myself an entire sort of new dimension of my skull. So I'm going to take my Fusard eyeshadow palette number one and I'm going to use this color, this color, and a little bit of that. Just some grayish cool colors to kind of sculpt that look in. I'm going to start off here on the side of my crease and go all the way up and then in that nose line. We've been through this before. I'm not telling you why any longer. I'm going to take a bit of copper plate and kid eyeshadow by MAD. I just dropped it and go on and deepen it a bit more at that nose line and now with this purpley taupe color and this gray color I'm gonna bring even more dimension in that nose line so you kind of want to tilt your head back and really draw it in high up right there and then, of course, you want to blend it up. I'm also going to use that color on the outer part of my crease again and blend it to, like, the middle. Taking this color and this color again, you want to apply that to your bottom lid to, like, halfway in. I know, you guys, this look is crazy right now. It's probably crazy at the end as well because it's a crazy look. Um, you don't do grocery shopping with this. Let's get that out of the way. So once you have that blended right there, wing it out. And then with kid eyeshadow, just blend that out to the sides really nicely. So you kind of want to blow it out to the side of your eyes, of sort of like your temples. And basically all you want to do is just keep adding depth to this entire thing and then blend it out. And after that I will be back for the shimmery craziness. For the lid I will be using Sweet Sienna Pigment by MAC. From Sugar Pills Cold Chemistry Palette, I'm going to take Diamond Eyes. And you want to highlight the inner corner with this. Your new inner corner, because your new inner corner is way up. Then blend it to the lid, mixing it with that uh, Sweet Sienna. And then also on the bottom. Now what I'm going to do is take my infamous Makeup Studio Jewel Effects in Shine and sort of glitter up the entire inner corner with that. I'm gonna pop some Ben 9 Neutralizer Cream Crayon, and this is Red Concealer number one. I'm gonna give my eyelashes a really good curl. And to finish the eyes off, I'm gonna take that bleach product again, that fake bleach product for the brows. I'm just gonna dab my spoolie in that. You wanna bleach your lower lashes. So as you can see, I already did most part of the face, but I will walk you through it. Um, I applied some foundation first. I used my MAC Face and Body in uh, white and C1. And then for this blush slash craziness going on, my Sugar Pill eyeshadows in Dolly Pop and Poison Plum. And then as a transition blending color, I'm going to use MAC Love Cloud Blush. And this to kind of feather out the edges and just give myself a really nice blend in this crazy lot. Just start at your shape line and just do this all in a round circular motion to get the blending to perfection. Take some more and just blend it in. 
Then go down here to your jaw, blend it out, and blend it up. Now I'm going to take Love Cloud by MAC and just feather it out and make it a little bit more blended. And I did the exact same thing to my forehead. I just placed it here and then blended it down and the curve is sort of going like this. I also placed some on my chin and blended it up and on the top of my nose. And the top of the nose highlight or color really reminds me of the Grinch, the little girl, Taylor Mom son. Then to really perfect this look, it's time for some crazy highlighting. The highlight I will be using is the Diamond Effects Gemstone Collection in Gold Stone. So that is going here on the bridge of my nose, on the little top of my nose, on my Cupid's bow. Now I'm going to take Vanilla Pigment by MAC and just make that highlight, like, insanely, insanely highlighted. Oh my god. Right on top, baby. Oh, look at that shine. Look at that shine. And this is also going on the entire top of my nose. Okay, I'm just going to give that pink a little blend with the highlighter to give it all one smooth perfect it look as far as this could ever look perfect. For our lips, you first want to completely blank them out with the concealer. I'm going to use my La Mascot Rich Liquid Foundation. Then I'm going to take Max Lip Mix in Burgundy and this is a really nice color because if you build this up it becomes this dark purpley color but if you blend it out it becomes this sort of wine red and that is exactly what I want for this look. And what you want to do is sort of open your lips and then pat it on the inside and sort of in like a geisha shape. And to finish it off, you want to put a layer of gloss on top, and I'm using my Elizabeth Arden 8-Hour Cream. And now all you want to do, little monsters, is take a piece of see-through fabric and go fashion Galliano Gaga crazy. So little monsters, my lovely subscribers and anyone that's watching this video, that concludes this last Lady Gaga applause week tutorial. This by far was my absolute favorite to do and my absolute favorite from the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. For a full list of every single product used, go to my website NikkiTutorials.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Keek and Vine. That all is Nikki Tutorials. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you guys next time. I love you. Bye, guys.